Hey class, I want to give a couple more Jupyter notebook uh, tips and tricks. So let me go straight to my uh, notebook. And here we see um, a blank Jupyter notebook. Now, well, we talked last week about how, you know, we're putting our code in here and uh, using it uh, for our, our work and our submissions. Um, the notebook is amazing because it lets you isolate uh, uh, code blocks and just run them in the same fashion that the interpreter actually runs your code, which is just one line at a time. Now, there's a few tips and tricks to keep in mind as we keep going in the semester, because we'll keep coming back to Jupyter Notebooks time and time again. The one thing that I wanted to mention was to make sure to frequently um, save your work. And you do that by clicking File and then Save and Checkpoint. You can also do that by holding down uh, Control S or Command S. And do this frequently. Um, the notebook does auto save every couple of minutes, but you do want to get into the habit of, of uh, consciously uh, saving. And when you do save here, it creates a checkpoint, which then gives you the ability to roll back your code uh, to an earlier checkpoint. Like here, I've got one highlighted, and this is simply an earlier one. So remember that trick, save and checkpoint. Um, another uh, necessity is when you finish working on your notebook, um, don't just shut down the browser tab because your notebook is still actually running in memory even though the tab has closed. So to properly shut down uh, a notebook, you just go to file and then close and halt. And what that will do is it will um, uh, terminate the process running the, the notebook, terminate the kernel. Uh, and then that sometimes that tab will stay open. Sometimes it closes automatically. Um, you just have to uh, react either way. So here I'm going to open this uh, this one back up again, and there we are. The next trick is just simply renaming any notebook. You just click up there on the title, and change it to whatever name you want, and hit return, and it changes the uh, the name. If you then go back into your uh, Jupyter listing of your <clears throat> uh, of your files and such you'll see that uh, the testing notebook stuff is, is now listed here. Now, this is important, and that is that when you first get um, a, a notebook and you open it, it doesn't automatically run. You have to consciously go and, uh, and run it. So here I'm just creating some random codes here, and you see I've got an assignment n equals five, i equals 15, and then finally I'm gonna print n. So we would expect five to print out. But when I run this cell, we get an error that the name n is not defined. And well, why is that? Well, it's because this cell up here where we actually declared n and assigned it a value, that cell actually has not been run yet. So the variable n, doesn't exist in memory. So it's no wonder why this cell down here then has trouble finding n because it hasn't yet been created. So a good practice to get into is as soon as you open up a notebook, just go to cell run all, and that will run all of the cells in order. And you see here now that error disappeared because we, uh, we now have n resident in memory as a variable and, and there it is. Now, sometimes you'll want to restart your, your notebook, and you can do that without actually shutting it down and reopening it. And you can do that simply by restarting the kernel. So in the uh, <clears throat> toolbar here, select kernel and then collect, uh, click restart. It'll give you one more error or a warning, and it then actually restarts the kernel. And what this has done is it's actually restarted your notebook it hasn't run it, but it has restarted it. So now if we go and run all again, we'll see that we've got uh, these run numbers that are back starting with number one. And I think that is all the, uh, the tips and tricks. Uh, of course, there's a few more um, as you keep going, you'll, you'll get used to. Um, one is, is that let's say we're working on this cell right here. 
And if we want to insert a new cell, well, we can just strike the letter B and it creates a new cell. Um, before we click in that cell, if we then strike the letter M, it changes that cell from a, a, a cell that runs code to a markdown cell. And now we can type things in here. We have to run that cell just like before, just like any of them. Uh, the shortcut for running is shift enter, uh, or you can click this run, or if you get, um, uh, if your instance has the, the little shortcut run cell, you can click that also. And I think that's it. So uh, uh, good luck and the notebooks that are coming in so far are looking very good. So talk to you later, everybody.